Let's take a look at Alvin the Almighty. Namaste. This is your trainer from... Oh, right. Right, right, right. We contacted them. And they would get back to us. This is them getting back to us. This is your trainer from Mind Body Fitness. I'm Alvin, but you can call me Al or Almighty Al. Al Al Cool Gym works too. <laughs> Are you ready to ascend, exercise, and start this life-changing journey with me? Um, actually, I think even before, uh, fuck me, I think even before that, we should recover this. Um, no, that's not it, is it? Rex's new recruits email address. Yeah, this. Yes. A new recruit of Rex's is an employee at Maya's gym and planning to quit their job to pursue Rex's program full time. <clears throat> Between Rex and Maya. Mm, let's go back to the original. Uh, this is from Pumped Up Clicks. Uh, Maya, thank you, thank you, thank you. Rex is much more than you describe. He's exactly who I needed to help me decide what to do with my life. I know I said that fitness was my passion, but I was lying. <laughs> Rex sensed that right away, and we talked about all my doubts. What a guy. He even offered a solution when he asked me to join his business, too. I can't thank you enough for introducing us. He's an absolute legend. I owe you everything that's going to happen. P.S. I know you never attended my classes, but my Zumba teaching days are numbered. I'm quitting my job at the gym to make my dreams come true. And then Maya. Rex, what the hell? This wasn't the plan. You're getting him to quit being a trainer? He needs that job. What happened to getting people who deserve it? I told you he's in debt. He can't give you anything. I only introduced you because you said you needed a personal trainer. You know, someone to pay? And then Rex replies, My oh my, someone's suddenly grown a conscience. Touching. He can make his own decisions. It's not my fault he's such a puppy dog. I didn't force him to quit. Just a few choice words on how working for me could be good for him, that's all. Don't worry your pretty little head about anything. Plus, his enthusiasm's good for my operation. Him being all excited and his faith in the program is going to get more people to join. They love that genuinity crap. You're right about one thing, though. He could be of better use at the gym. Maybe I'll let him stay there. Find more people to join us. Yeah, that's an awesome idea. Thanks, Maya. Me and a whole load of people owe you one. Maya expresses concern that Rex would exploit someone who is heavily in debt. But Alvin's gonna be uh, gonna have their eyes opened when they see that conversation. God damn it! What did you send me, Murillo? Here's what I got on Rex. He blows a lot of hot air about being an entrepreneur, but the only business he's ever registered is his motivational company, where he's the only employee. I dug up some posts online saying he's running some sort of scam. Find out more about this. This warden app really is something. I'm damn glad the department spent money on this at least. How's it working out for you? No problems restoring files? The software's amazing. Really is, isn't it? Imagine unraveling a potential suspect's uh, lives just through their phones, moment by moment. Every single thing exposed. Nothing stays hidden. What a wonderful time to be in law enforcement. Yeah, not such a good thing. Do you have some sort of peeping Tom kink? I'm not doing this for personal gratification. This is about getting justice. I have the right to do whatever necessary to get my job done. And now is not the time for trivial debates. Enough chit-chat. We have to get back to work. Anything else we can restore? A video of Maya seeing things. Um... 
I mean, would that be the possession? Oh, right. We can't just put a random video in. It needs to be a clue, right? Because it's not here. Yeah, I don't think we can do that one yet. Aria's ties to a fashion brand. We do have that. Ambassador of Aluren. Recovered email from Arya discussing uh, Aluren's rejection of her application. The liaison might have more info about this situation. Oh, we're probably going to get the liaison's um, extension number that we needed. Uh, yes, there it is. There's the extension. Dear Arya Park, your application to become an Aluren muse has been received. Uh, unfortunately, due to the sheer volume of applications, our review process will take longer than expected. In the meantime, you can follow up on your application through our hotline listed on our website. My extension is 8714. Look forward to hearing from you. Rachel Hay. And then I guess they forwarded it to Maya. Maya, I'm beyond annoyed. Such an inconvenience. Look at this. Can you believe this, Bull? Due to the sheer volume of applications, blah, blah, blah. How hard do I have to try? Ugh. Like, why can't I just get it? I'm clearly perfect for this. If only I had a friend who could help me out. A friend with connections at Aluren. A friend who slays at fitness and curating diet plans. A friend that I dearly respect and appreciate. A friend that I'm forwarding this email to. But seriously, if you know uh, anyone on the inside, please, please, please let me know, okay? Eight, seven, one, four. Oh, God damn it. Eight, seven, one, four. Uh, Aluren Hotline. Welcome to the Aluren Hotline. Be true, be you, be alluring. Press 1 to ask about our exclusive deals. Press 2 to ask about our brand new loyalty program. Press 3 to ask about our Muse program. To follow up on your application as our Muse, please press 1. If you want to be our Muse, are you, you enough to be a part of us? Hunt us down at our pop-up stores and get your applications filled. If you have already applied and want to get in touch with your talent liaison, please dial the four-digit extension number after the beep. Thank you. Your liaison is... Rachel. However, your call cannot be connected as she's not at her desk at this moment. She is informed of your call and will get back to you as soon as possible. Have a nice day. Okay, just gotta wait then. Oh, God damn it. Oh, they just got back to me. Uh, let's listen to this first. Look, we're running out of time here, so we gotta wrap this up fast. Arya looks like a nice enough girl, but my gut tells me she's got a lot more insecurities than she's letting on. From experience, someone like that is going to do whatever they can for validation, even if they have to fake it. I think you should push her buttons on this. See if she's really as genuinely confident as she seems. Hey, this is Rachel Hay from Alluren. Be true, be you, be alluring. Who is this? Hmm. Should I just say I'm following up on my application, or should I be truthful about who I am? I'll just be truthful. I'm a journalist researching an expose about one of your influencers. What? Oh my god. An expose? Uh, Hold up for a minute here. I got a big campaign planned out and I can't have any of my muses leaking any controversial stuff. Can we just settle things privately over here? Let's talk about this quietly then. Good. Good. 
I'm sure that we can keep this on the down low for now. This goes public, just give us some leeway to cover our own asses first. Who do you want to know about? I want to know what you think of Arya Park. Okay, give me a sec. That name sounds familiar. She's not one of ours. She applied but didn't get through. Then why did she announce it on Chimera? She's faking it. Sometimes our rejects do this. But as long as they don't get us into trouble, we're pretty okay with it. I mean, it's no big deal, right? Can we just quietly resolve this and not make it public? It's not my problem that she used your brand for this. Can you just stop right there? Okay, why don't I make this easier for all of us? PR was going to release this anyway, so here it is. Press release for pending release. Statement on official muses. Lauren's influencer partners, known as muses, are our voice, our ambassadors, and a proud representation of our brand. These muses are carefully selected to fully embody our ethos. While we are proud to see fans emulate the style of our prestigious muses, a few have taken it too far by calling themselves our partners or collaborators without our permission. These imitators undermine the integrity of our brand and real muses. Arya Park, fake muse. Ouch. Arya Park is one of these unofficial muses. She claims to be our ambassador, but she is not affiliated with us in any manner. One of the ways to identify a fake muse from a real one is to look out for official tags. Real muses are required to tag at Aluren in all their posts, while the fake ones tend to avoid it. If you spot any other fake muses, please contact any of our official channels. Arya gets publicly shamed by Aluren for faking her brand sponsorship. That would be an awkward as hell thing to come out. I see now that Arya is being extremely selfish. Because of her recklessness, she's dragging our brand down, and we cannot have that. I'm going to push this out right now. This conclusively disproves Arya's relationship with us, so you don't have the right to drag us into this. Rachel's highly critical of Arya's actions and wants to teach her a lesson. Fair enough. This will suffice. Wonderful. You can't hear me, but I'm dusting off my hands right now. <laughs> if you have any more issues, take it to our legal department, okay? Uh. Jabber from Aloran, we've heard your feedback. We're now denouncing all of our phony muses, starting with... The God, they even tagged her. Styles by Aria. Oh, I didn't look at the comments, did I? Mind Body Fitness. Bad week so far? It's only Wednesday. Don't let the midweek blues get you down. Keep your head up, get that momentum running, and realign yourself to make the week work for you. Sign up for a midweek yoga class led by Chloe and learn how to convert the negative energy into positive action today. Wait a minute. What? One month ago. Oh, I guess it was a recovered post? Uh, I thought it was just posted. But yeah, it says one month. Because if it was just posted, that would be very concerning because Maya commented on it, which would be interesting. What should we do now? Can we reconstruct anything else? 
She had thread of my befriending someone. She, uh, invitation to an influencer convention. Do we have that? Oh, yeah. Chimericon invite. A long conversation with Ruben, an admirer of Maya's who met her at Chimericon 2018. 10th of June. Hey, Maya. Maya replies. Hey, Ruben, remember me? We met at Chimericon. I got you those backstage VIP passes and you gave me your number. Maya. Yeah, Ruben, right? I can never forget my favorite Chimera developer. Ruben. Call me Ben. Maya. Sure, Ben. So how are you? What's up? Ruben. Just checking when you're free to meet up. Maya. Hey, Ben. So sorry, but it was pretty loud that night. Did we agree to meet up? Ruben. Oh, uh, remember I said I had some Chimera hacks to share with you? And you said we should totally get some drinks to talk about it more? Maya. Yes. So, so sorry. I swear if I don't write things down, I'm going to forget about it. What about brunch? Ruben. I know just the place. You'll love it. Maya. Great. Let's do that. Ruben. It's a date. I mean, not that this is a date. I'm just eating dates and I thought you should know. <laughs> God, they're awkward as fuck. Maya. That's sweet. Ruben. They are sweet. <laughs> uh, Maya. I'm about to hit the gym. Text you later. Ruben. Yeah. Talk to you soon. 14th of June, Maya. Ben, I've been trying to do that thing on Chimera you showed me, but I'm hopeless. Could you bring your laptop again and show it to me? Ruben. Hey, Maya. Anything for you. How about Thursday, 10 a.m.? Maya. Sounds good. We can go to your favorite place. Ruben. King of waffles? You sure you're okay? I mean, you're on a diet or something, right? Maya. It's becoming my favorite place, too. Besides, I have cheat days. Ruben. Awesome. Looking forward to our next meeting. <laughs> Maya, you did not just say that. Ruben. Anything to salve age this situation. Maya. You're such a dork. Ruben. You're in good hands. Maya. Gross. Ruben. Tooth much? Maya. Yeah. Ruben. I'll work on my delivery. But anything for you, though. Dear God. 25th of June. Ruben, I have tickets to a show tonight at Orion. Would you want to go with me? Yeah. Maya. Can't. Ruben. Oh, are you busy? Maya. Yep. Ruben. What about this weekend? They're still good then. Maya. Nope. Ruben. Bummer. Things have been crazy for you? Maya. Manageable. Ruben. Good. Good. What about next week? Maya. Sorry. Ruben. It's fine. I'll catch you some other time then. Maya. Cool. Ruben. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, that... There, Maya's trying to tell you to fuck off, Ruben. 3rd of July, Ruben. Did you see my new profile picture on Jabber? Maya, no, why? Ruben, you should see it. Maya, it's you at King of Waffles? Ruben, yeah. It's what you see every time you come in for our brunch dates. M mates. Brunch mates? Me looking cool, waiting for you to come in and catch my attention. Maya, wow, you want an award for that? Ruben, I'll take your hand. Maya, it's too busy face palming right now. Ruben, your heart will do too. Maya, I... 6th of July. Ruben, word of advice, do not go to Waffle Lot. I'm sick. Out of both ends. Maya, guess you could say that you're feeling waffle. Ruben, oh, butter? I don't get that one. Oh, uh, no. 8th of July, Ruben, cute Camara post. Random question, what's your shirt made out of? Maya, cotton. Why? 
Ruben, really? Because I think it's a girlfriend material. Maya, oh my god, I have one for you too. Knock knock. Ruben, who's there? Maya, boo. Ruben, boo hoo. One hour later. Did you just ghost me? One hour later. Okay, I get the joke now. Did you hear about the restaurant on the moon? Three hours later. Food's great, but there's zero atmosphere. Are you a 90 degree angle? 9th of July. Because you're looking right. That's so pathetic. 27th of August. Uh, whoa, Maya actually initiated the conversation. Hey, Ben. Ruben. Maya, haven't heard from you in a while. Maya, sorry about that. I'll make it up to you, promise. How's work? I heard that you're working on something cool. Ruben. I am, actually. Don't tell anyone, but we're working on an experimental feature that allows you to remotely control another person's profile. I pitched it. For parents with kids who use Chimera. You know, so they can monitor their posts, comments, and DMs. The feature isn't out yet, but I'm working hard on it. Maya. Oh my god, that's so cool. Ruben. Full disclosure, I would never violate your privacy like that. It's heinous. Dude, that's... Why did you have to even bring that up? That's so creepy. Maya. Of course not. I trust you, Ben. Could you do me a small favor? Ruben, you know I can't say no to you. Maya. I'm actually going to work with a group now, and that feature would help me so much with this new initiative. If I give you their names, can you set it up for me? Ruben. Well, it's only for developers right now. Maya. It would be a big help. I'll be able to spend less time managing them, and maybe have more time with you? Ruben. Well, okay. Maya. You're the best. Ruben. I'll see what I can do. Just so you know, it only allows one account at a time for now. I'm planning to expand this feature, but it's still in development. Maya. Awesome. Uh, I need access to the account of this singer I'm working with. She's pretty new to being an influencer, so it's a hassle editing for her. Can you do it today? Ruben. I've actually been in the hospital for a few days. Food poisoning. Still recovering. Maya. Well, hope you recover soon so you can get back to it. Ruben. You sound like my boss. Thanks. Would you want to drop by for a visit? Maya? Okay. Catch you later. I never replied. 12th of September. Ruben, Maya, can I ask you something? I need to know. Maya, sounds serious. What is it, Ben? Ruben, we've known each other for a while now, and things have been going good. As much as I enjoy our back and forth, I have to throw this out there. Would you consider going on a date with me? A real date. Dinner, lunch, I don't mind as long as we're actually on one. I want this to be real, Maya. For us to be something more. Maya. Ben, this is a lot. You know I can't. We can't. I like you. I do. But I'm an influencer, and you're a Chimera developer. That wouldn't be a good look for me. People will talk. You know how toxic it can be. I don't want to lose everything I've worked so hard for. You don't want anything bad to happen to me, do you? Ruben. Of course I don't. Maya. Then I think it's best if we keep things professional. Nothing has to change. We can still have fun. Ruben. Yeah. I guess you're right. Maya. I always am. Ruben. Uh, maybe if our jobs weren't so tied together? Maya. I suppose that's possible. But you're so good at your job. You're a smart guy. You know how to deal with it. Ruben. I'll be fine. 18th of October. Maya. Ben, it's urgent. I need your help. Ruben. Hey, Maya. Everything okay? Maya. That Chimera feature you're working on, the one where you can control multiple users. Is it ready? Ruben. Uh, there's still kinks I gotta work out first. Maya. When can it be ready? Ruben. You can't rush these things. What's going on? You can talk to me. Maya? You can't keep ghosting me like this. It's okay, you must be busy. 
I forgive you. That's it. Huh. Why do they want that feature so bad? Like, given everything that's happened, I've got to assume it's more than just more efficiently managing Mina's profile. It's urgent. So specifically on the 18th of October, something was urgent. Okay, wrote that in my notes because that sounds important. Also important is that they didn't get access to somebody else's account, judging by the conversation. God damn it. Anything else? Gym employ. Uh, we need Maya at her gym locker. Don't have that. Video of Maya seeing things. Don't have that. God damn it. I, gah, I keep going back here and forgetting. And like not knowing when a button press will take me back to that image exactly. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. Depends on where I am. Hmm. Okay. Let's talk with Alvin. Should I just be forthright that I'm here about Rex? Can we skip to the part where you beef up my wallet instead? Whoa. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. You must be here for the throat program. Yep, that's what I'm here for. Fantastic. Well, if you found me through my gym number, you must be super enthusiastic. My regular phone number got barred for some minor issues. Goes to show you the universe finds a way, am I right? Minor issues? You know, not paying my bills on time. But things are turning around now that you're here. The average millionaire has multiple sources of income. Right now, I'm going to give you that opportunity. Imagine a reward system that pays you buttloads for just liking someone's Camara posts. How do you get paid for liking posts? Glad you asked. Here's how it works. The mastermind behind this program is Rex Keegan. Great guy. Just like his posts, uh, as an investment, and any money he makes from the likes you give him will be returned to you as dividends. How does he make money from likes? Great question. So, Camara posts make money for influencers, right? More likes means more money. Simple. For a low initial fee of $400, discounted from $800, mind you, you can join this like chain and start earning money from Rex's Camara income. Plus, if you get people to join, you get a cut. If you introduce five people and those people introduce five more, that's compounded perpetual income. I have to pay to join? It's an investment. You can pay monthly too. Assuming you get three people, you waive 23% of their total fee multiplied by their monthly likes for the next two months. Wait, I don't think I explained it right. Uh, just trust me that it works, okay? How do I start? Just pay the fee and you'll get started with this seminar. Now, I, I might be explaining it badly, but I have a small snippet that might clear things up. That's the one we've already seen, right? Grow my business by growing each and every one of you. You sign up as a regular subscriber. Oh, yeah. More likes. Look, the video might not do justice to the program either, but I swear it's good. Rex is trying to change the lives here. He has good intentions. I can see it for myself, and I hope that you do too. Do 
Yeah, this all sounds like a scam. You're like that group who just wants someone to hate. You don't want to understand the hope and future Rex gives us. Our belief and camaraderie is stronger than your hate. Take that. This was a waste of time. Alvin blocked you. Al out. Alvin sees Rex as his savior. While Rex's methods are questionable, he gives hope to people who are stuck in an inescapable financial rut. Uh, yep, yeah, false hope. God damn it. Well, I think I'm ready to talk to either Aria or Rex. Let's do Rex. I'm surprised that people still fall for this. Hey. That's for paying members only. Delete it now or I'll sue you into oblivion. Not before you get arrested for running an illegal business. How is it illegal when I'm just selling dreams? Okay, okay, okay. It was stupid and a contrived scheme, alright? But come on, people just want the entrepreneur image without doing any of the work. So I thought I'd give the people what they want, you know? And you preyed on innocent people. Hey, man. It's eat or be eaten, you follow? Before you bring out the violins for these peeps. That lot would sell their grandmas for a new car. You really gonna pity people like that? So yeah, I got some flack for it, but some of them actually got off their asses and did something with their lives. You feel any pity for Alvin? He was practically selling the scheme to himself. I barely had to do anything. You can't put the entire blame on me. I knew the risks. I gotta go big to show people that I'm killing it, but maybe this was riskier than I thought. I'm a pro. I deal with failure on my own terms. I have it all planned out. Your failures are catching up to you. Hey, you get to my level, there's gonna be haters. You gonna trust any rando out for blood? And when Maya and I discussed this stupid deal, I told her I don't need some lame-ass spoopy ripple thing. <laughs> I had no intention of hurting Maya or anyone else, too. Mina thinks you did. God, Mina. You probably spooked Mina so much that she's blabbing all sorts of shit about us. You're just like my haters, just riling people up. Yeah, she only blabbed on you. Yeah, well, I don't care what she said. That sly witch. Gotta say I'm impressed. She's fooled a lot of people. Now she's playing you too. Weak defense. That girl spins stories 24-7, cause she's a total attention whore. Bet she took the deal just for the drama. Even if it meant killing Maya? Maya was her hero, true. But we outgrow our heroes eventually. Mina wants fame real bad. Looks like she got proactive for once to get what she wants. I knew she was acting weirdly that night. What makes you say that? One minute she's all, Oh my god, Maya, I'm so sad. And suddenly she was all, Oh my god, someone did this, and oh my god, who did this? It was like she was deciding how to best act sympathetic. Those girls are all appearances and no substance. Faker than three dollar bills. 
Probably that's why they couldn't cope with the hate. Why would Mina take the deal? How the hell did she get so popular after pissing people off of their lies? People were really dragging her out and shit. And then suddenly, right after we get that deal thing, she gets a record deal and more fans? She did lie about her tragedies. Yeah. So, you know. And people wised up to it. Her fans caught on, uh, on her goth shtick. That should have ended her career. No way she bounced back from that without some extra help. Know what I mean? And what about Arya? She's all about being glamorous and showing off how in demand she is. Her Chimera feed is so fake because she's insecure as fuck. That deal would help her get the prestige she wants so badly. All influencers care about their image. Hey, let me finish, alright? She's obsessive about it. You know, I've seen her just tear down other influencers because they dared to be more popular than her. She will eliminate anything or anyone if they get in her way. Even Maya? She gets all antsy if she feels like she's losing her fashion queen throne. Even if it's her best friend. Arya never liked being second best. Looks like you're right. Told you. My gut's always right. Got this from a friend in marketing. Oh, that's the Aloran thing. Bet you her cool facade cracks if you ask her about it. I'll look into this. Oh, god damn it. Fuck me. No, 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 no. Uh, please open up an app. I don't want to stare at the... No. Open up an app. I don't want to stare at the fucking home screen. Alright, give it to me. Just, just give it to me. Nine one one nine one one nine one. Damn it! Mm. Oh my God! Texting with Maya's phone is creepy enough. Can you stop dragging me into this? Can you stop dragging me into this? Can you? What? No, it can't be. You drag me in this. No. I would never. Alrighty. Well, at least that image hasn't gotten any worse. What's up, Marillo? New video seen from Maya's laptop. Cool. Cool. Ignore that video. Do not open it. It's highly confidential, not meant for your eyes. Oh, really? Great news, the higher-ups agree to a small field team to apprehend the culprit. We'll do whatever it takes to prevent the Ripple Man's influence from spreading. What's your progress report? Everyone's pointing fingers at each other. This is turning out to be quite messy. Any theories as to who's our perp? 
feel like we're missing something big. Are you getting this from those kids? They covered up Maya's death and conspired with an evil entity. That's the long and short of it. The only thing we're missing is our last suspect's statement. I still think we're getting it wrong. If you keep listening to these fakers, you're going to jeopardize our case. Get back on track. That's an order. This team they gave me? If we screw up this case, they'll be taking me in instead. And if they dig deeper and detain you too, there'll be no one left to pursue these simulacra. I'm only interested in the truth. Then be prepared, because the truth is often ugly and uncomfortable. Only one more to go. Wrap it up and let me know. I thought I'd seen it all in my 35 years on the force, but this really takes the cake. We're living in a different world now, and it's more dangerous than you realize. We're not alone, and we're not at the top of the food chain anymore. I won't sugarcoat it. People are going to doubt you, call you a phony. But this story needs to get out. It needs to. And that, I think, is a good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, well, we're going to confront Arya about the Alluren sponsorship. <laughs>